Hey guys, Cody here with another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make this radio panner effect out of a single material. Alright, let's get started. Okay, first thing we're going to do is hop over into our favorite image editing software. And we're going to create a new project here. And we're going to make the size 512 by 512. Okay. And then I'm going to create a new layer. Open up a brush and this one looks pretty good scaled up a little bit and it doesn't matter what color you use here I'm just gonna use red and I'm just gonna kind of pepper let me scale this up a little bit more and I'm just gonna kind of pepper it along I'll make sure it's kind of kind of consistent something like that now normally you can actually uh, make these repeatable textures by creating an offset it's really quite easy in Photoshop but because of this type of texture we really don't have to do that because it's kind of got a lot of noise in it already so it shouldn't have any tiling issues okay so once we get something looking like that you can remove that background layer and we're going to save it as a PNG. All right, now let's jump back into Unreal and we'll go ahead and import that file that we just created. Just call it dots2 in my case. You can name it whatever you want. Once you import it, create a material by right clicking on it and selecting create material. We'll leave the name the same. We'll double click on that, open it up. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is disconnect this from the color. We'll take the alpha and throw it into the emissive. And now we can see our texture there. All right, now we're going to add a panner. Hook this up to the UV. And under the speed Y, we'll add negative 0.25. And that'll push these uh, this texture in the right direction there for us. All right, next I'm going to add a text cord. And this will let us scale the size of the texture. So let's try something like two. That'll make the dots a little bit smaller. All right, got that set up looking good. Okay, next let's add some color to it. So by holding down the three key and left clicking, you can get this vector, which is also known as a color. And we'll just choose a purple. And we're going to multiply this. Like that. Okay. So that's looking pretty good. Uh, we probably want to add some a multiplier to the emissive color to really make it pop so I'll do that now and we'll just manually set this to something like 10 you can see it'll start really glowing a bit more okay so we got that done now let's move on to the masking aspect so I'm gonna create another vector and this one under the blue we're gonna put 1.2 I'll show you why in a second. We're going to grab our pixel normal WS and we're going to create a dot. There we go. Now you can also use a sphere mask for this, but I'm going to use a dot and we'll do a minus one here and that's going to invert it. And I can show you what's happening here. You can see that it's only selecting the top portion of this sphere and that's what we want. Now using a minus one, it's simply going to inverse that and give us that effect. All right. So if you want to adjust the size of this sphere, you can do it right here just by adjusting this and you can get a whole bunch of different effects. You can also move it off into the side and all that. But no reason to get into that as we are just trying to wrap up this tutorial. So here we go. 
All right, next we're going to multiply again. And we're going to multiply the opacity channel with this mask. And we need to set our texture to translucent and throw this in the opacity. There we go. All right, uh, for the multiply, I'm going to bump it up a little bit more to like 100. Okay, now here comes the cool part. In game, you can just use the sphere, grab your texture, drop it on, and we are already starting to get the effect. And what I'll do is I'll take this sphere and I'll flatten it out. I'll do it over here in the transform. I'll make it 0 0.001 for height, so it's really flat. And there's the effect. So pretty straightforward, guys, as you can see. Um, you know, by adjusting the texture you're using, by adjusting the sphere mask, you can have a multitude of effects. So let's try something like that. Probably look a little bit better. Maybe 1.1. All right, guys, so that's the tutorial. I appreciate you for hanging out and watching. I hope this has been useful or helpful. If uh, any of you out there have any suggestions for how to improve on upon this, I would love to hear your suggestions. Until next time, I will see you guys later. Take care.